else had opened her uh, kitchen and she got some orders this afternoon and uh, unfortunately she's got, well, no, I shouldn't say unfortunately, fortunately, she has more rum cakes to make than she has rum, so I had to run downtown, pick up some rum, and unfortunately they only had the little bottles, but I got it. And, well, when I get back, I'll tell you basically what we've been doing with coffee and the shelter at home and essential businesses and a whole bunch of stuff. spring break shall we say I don't know it's it's one of those things that it's not going to be good one way or the other uh, but on the bright side we will come out on the other side uh, and we'll change things how I don't know yet one of the possibilities is this could be generational dividing moment sort of like the Great Depression was for uh, a lot of people that even though it ended that uh, stayed with them their entire lives so maybe it's that what trends will change I'm not really sure right now I mean I haven't given that a whole lot of thought but if it goes on too long this could be one of those defining moments. So back home, I got uh, Sid supplies. Um, so she's baking away in the other room. <laughs> uh, what do you got to make? You've got a couple rum cakes, some... Uh, Three rum cakes, some black bean brownies, and a chocolate birthday cake. So, it's a start. It's good. Uh, hopefully that continues. Those people tell other people the same kind of thing. Um, oh, just so you know, on the coffee end of things... Uh, because, you know, the times are the times. There's nothing I can do about that. I have lowered the shipping rates on the coffee. Um, and I've also lowered the coffees to all coffees and the 12 ounce bags are $12.99. Doesn't matter which variety. You know, we're trying to uh, get sales out and it's been slow, but it's, it is what it is. You know, so we're working on other things. That's part of what we're doing while we're doing this. Sid's making things, posting things. I'm developing um, wholesale relations with different companies like um, uh, Hario's one of them uh, that we're doing. I've written to Aeropress as another one. So we're doing different things to try to get set so that when this is all over, we'll be in a good position. We won't be trying to scramble. I mean, I had a talk yesterday with a coffee wholesaler in New York. Um, I haven't heard back from him. And I've set up some wholesale accounts uh, because we're gonna try different things to see what works and what doesn't work. And then if we can you know, get good prices and good coffee, then we can lower those um, costs to people because it's gonna be one of those tough times, I think, that it's there's gonna be a lot of people out of work. Um, it's going to be something that we've never experienced before. Like I said before, is it going to be a life changing? I don't know. It could be. It depends on how long it goes. I mean, will people's shopping habits start to change because it's been so long since they went to stores that they don't want to anymore? Uh, they get nervous about going to stores, so they'd rather just 
pay the shipping and have it sent to their house? I don't know. I mean, in our case, Sid can ship certain items and I can ship the coffees anywhere. You know, if, if it's local, somebody can stop by, pick it up. If it's outside of there, I can ship it to pretty much anywhere in the U.S. So I don't know what will change, but I think there's going to be a lot of adaptation. We'll see how it goes. Um, this is one of those things we're not going to, I'm not going to bother getting into. You've seen all the statistics and news and everything else that goes with it. It is what it is, and it's, it's unfortunate, um, and hopefully it's not super devastating. I mean, it's going to be devastating, I get you, grant you that, but, you know, hopefully that everybody comes out of it in some way or another better. I mean, maybe uh, communities will be better for it because they've banded together and um, tried to help each other out, things like that. Maybe that will uh, become a, uh, a plus outcome of this. I mean, unfortunately, there are people who are not going to make it. I mean, that's the reality of it. So we just, everybody does what they can do as far as helping other people. I mean, I'm thinking of different things that we can do locally around here. I haven't done any of those because I have to contact those people because just doing something other than monetarily uh, may not be accepted by the people because of the viruses going around. You know, I just met some people, uh, I had to go get Sid supplies there, and they were like, so even if you don't have it, you could have it? And I'm like, yes, you can technically have it for like a couple weeks maybe. And you don't know you have it. You feel perfectly fine. You go about your business. Everything's wonderful. But meanwhile, you've been seeing other people. And those other people now have gotten it from you. And now they don't know they've gotten it. So they're talking to other people. And that's how it's, it's spreading. Like right now in Vermont, um, it's doubling about every three days. So we don't have a ton of cases, but we've got, I think... 160 cases so it's you know if it keeps doubling every three days that number is going to get pretty high they've already canceled school here for the rest of the year there is no more school it's all homeschool or online or that kind of thing uh, which leads me to believe they're thinking it's going to go on longer than that you know there's a lot of people who think it's going to be over mid-april i don't no, I'm not one of those people who thinks it's going to be over mid-April and everything's going to be honky-dory and, oh, let's go back to our old ways. I really don't think that. I mean, I think it's going to be at least May, June before things start to settle down. Um, I mean, I guess it doesn't like heat so much, so maybe if it went up to 95 everywhere, or 100, but then people would be keeling over from the heat. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> so it is what it is. And I mean, all I can say is all the people who are out of work and everything else, hopefully they'll figure out a way to, um, survive through it, figure out different ways they can, um, help each other, uh, other options, uh, unemployments or loans or uh, those kind of things. But it's just not a good time for, for anybody. I don't think anybody out there is going Oh, this is great. Oh, it's wonderful. I get to stay home and do nothing, and I'm, I don't have my job anymore. No, I don't think anybody's saying that. <laughs> well, the only one I think who life hasn't changed for is Hello. She still does her same routines every day. She gets up. Um, I make my coffee. Uh, she wants to sit on my lap. After she's done that, she goes sits in her chair. That chair is her chair didn't her have an argument about that but that's okay um and then she uh lounges for the morning lunchtime comes she, oh no after i have breakfast then she has to get on the chair she does her needs a brushing then we go and then it's lunchtime after lunch we get a couple little tidbits of meat or whatever i'm eating then she naps for the afternoon usually gets up around four or five <laughs> So her life hasn't really changed at all. <laughs> she, yeah, except we're home all the time now, <laughs> which works out fine for her because it's really good. 
if you need something like, you know, and I'm trying to teach her to point because I'm not fully fluent in kitty. Um, if she's too warm or whatever, she'll go over towards the refrigerator or water bowl and she'll give you the meow, 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 meow. That, that means she wants an ice cube. Uh, her water's too warm. Uh, but, you know, there are pluses for us being around. We can do more things for her. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, we'll all do the best we can, help each other out. Uh, hopefully businesses will survive and continue on. Um, use the time that they have to figure out different uh, ways of doing business, different ways of surviving at home, uh, going for walks, going snowshoeing, whatever. So hopefully everybody's well out there and try to keep it that way. Stay in touch.